What'd you guys do this weekend? Oh, can't really talk about it, but it was good. We got the vegan pepper steak on deck. I think there's better than this. Oh. All right, what about you, sir? Dude, it was pretty fucking crazy, man. Getting these beer stains off my specials. What about you? I ain't do much. I was chilling. I was chilling. Got some new kicks though. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army out there watching. Of course, I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. And we have a special guest here, sir, if you want to introduce yourself. Spencer Dinwiddie out of Brooklyn Nets. Happy hey! Uh-huh. We're happy to have you, man. What's good, brother? <laughs> no yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Got the, got the cast off. It's almost <laughs> that time to let it go. Yes, we got, sir. We got a little yes, Pac-12 rivalry right here. Oh, that's oh, you? right. Yeah, I, I went to Oregon, so, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I almost went there. <laughs> what what happened? You went to Colorado, right? Yeah, except I chose a better school. Woo! There it is. They offered me though. Sips, no water. We'll have to look up the stats on that. Um, now, Spence, you, you're injured right now, but you were at All Star Weekend last weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, doing the awesome. commentating on the Skills Challenge. Yeah, so I broadcasted uh, the Skills Challenge, like you said, and then just did other like media engagements because I was the previous winner last year. Okay. What was your take on it this year? You person, you person, how you felt about it? I mean, obviously, it's for the fun for the fans. Friday night, I'll talk about this. Why weren't you in it? Why weren't you in the celebrity? Uh, I know you politics. Hoop. Politics. Oh, they didn't want a real hooper. They didn't want a real hooper. all weekend. Mad so you, asking you think he gets buckets? Is that like... I, see I mean, compared to most celebrities, like, he would get baskets out there, I feel like. Bro, I'd be mad if Marvin back we gotta one start, one, we got to start the campaign right now. So Trinidad for the 2020 celebrity gotcha. game. Let's, right now. Yeah, right now. Oh, we're going to talk about some sneaker news here. Yeah. And of course, we're going to talk about your own yeah. sneaker company that you have. One of the interesting all-star shoes we saw was this Air Jordan 4 Wings that they unveiled. Uh, they gave a pair to James Whitner from Social, Social Status. Social Status. Yeah. James Come, Come on the show. show. Yep. Um, it, it's it's kind of for people who have done some positive work in their community. Are you guys feeling this Jordan 4? Me personally? I, no. No? No. No? No. No? No, the Jordan. I mean, the reasoning for giving it and doing it, amazing. Like, okay. I mean, Social Status really killed it for all-star. I feel okay. like of all the stores, Social Status and Black Sheep, Mm -hmm. um, in North Carolina, they really got a lot of love. James and Michael Jordan even came to the shop. That's, the show, that's amazing, you know. What did you think of uh, Jordan's fit? Did you see that, where you had like the Felice uh, jacket on? You say like... Felice? Yeah. Felice? Wait. Navi that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Felice. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, always, yeah. I always say, I, I just always say Felice. But you saw he had the fleece jacket on with like the boot cut jeans. That's, Travis Scott, Jordan 1s. That's like typical Jordan fit. The boot cut jeans are like, you can go throughout history. Like that is a Jordan staple. He's consistent. Yeah, he's consistent. He's consistent. Now, True. is it necessarily fashionable? Oof. He's never like convinced you to be like, convince me. No. <laughs> convince no. who? Moving forward though, um, my boy Don C is working on the KD-12. Supposedly. Okay. Supposedly, right? We're, this was brought up on the ESPN, the boardroom yeah, show. Yeah, he said yeah. he's working on it. We don't really know if that means he's helping to design the shoe or he's just doing some colorways and stuff like that. Don C, come on the show. But <laughs> it's like, no, but it's like he's trying to work with every single department of Nike. He's got his Jordan, <laughs> he's got his Converse, and now he's got like his Nike basketball. Mm, correct. Trying to get the EGOT. 3-1-2. Yeah. You trust are, Don C with this? That was going. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think KD, you know, trying to be a little bit more fashionable is mm -hmm. kind of where that where that trend's going, mm -hmm. you know, instead of him just being performance based. So, I mean, why not? Do you look at KD as a fashionable person? Your personal opinion? No. Okay. No, me, like me it, either, it, me if either. I was like, oh, I want to see who's dressing well, it wouldn't be KD. Right. Uh, sorry. That's why I'm sorry, happy sorry, bro. But it's is it because his feet look like it? skis? Oh, I was, no, I wasn't. I wasn't talking. I wasn't <laughs> talking crazy picture, about right? it, man. Like... No, a lot of the KD shoes they just don't look good on court because you got KD with the big ass size 16. It looks like a Subway sandwich. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, he only wears a six, but he's seven one though. Like, yeah, he's I mean, seven one yeah. shooting guard. Supposedly, right? No, he is a seven one shooting guard. You can confirm. And possibly the greatest score that we've seen. So it's pretty amazing. I Speak, mean, pretty amazing. Speaking of other. Uh, NBA players who got their own shoe. Kawhi got his New Balance sneaker yeah. that he debuted at uh, All Star Weekend. How do you say this shoe? It's like Omnis. It's like the it's like the Pen 15 joke at the end. It's like O M 15. Uh, he's trying to bring New Balance back. What do you, what do you think about that? I'm rolling. 
You're rolling with it? I'm rolling because of who it is. Mm. Now, if you look at that shoe just like stock, you're probably like, eh. So you right? think the boring shoe brand, boring Kawhi, like it's perfect? Well, I wasn't going to put, throw New Balance <laughs> under the bus, but I was saying like this a boring shoe. This is a New Balance shoe, guy too. I'm surprised. I'm just saying, there. like a boring shoe with a boring guy. It's, like even the commercial they did, yeah. it was Kawhi. Like it was Kawhi. Do you think this is a boring shoe? Seriously. I Are think you? it's I think it's a lot better than it than it could have been. You know what I mean? Like when I first in my head, because the last New Balance shoes I remember like Matt Bonner like coming out the soles of them. Mm. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't wear it. You said you wanted to hoop in it. Yeah, though. I mean New Balance. Send me a size 11. Sign me up. I'm ready to get bucks on the nigga straight up in those. Okay? okay, those are hard to okay. beat. And I like the way he rocked them on the court. The little rubber band fan. looking thing around the middle. I'm not feeling that. That's 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 my biggest uh, complaint with this. Well, show. I mean, I'm not feeling a lot of things about you, but you know, <laughs> we had to sit on the couch every week. You want to break it down, or you just oh, we can start hair mustache shoes? First, I want to ask you though, how do you pronounce your sneakers? Because I don't want to say it wrong. Oh, I pronounce it Kairos. Kairos. Yeah. And that's then, the name of the brand, and then the model is the. So that's the name of like my shoe in general, the brand. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I put numbers behind it. Um, I called it 8.1 just because I was looking for it. Just like a little good. interesting numerical, uh, you know, ordering of it. Hey. Problem is then like people started doing like, you know, point this and that. And then I was like. Yeah, I about to say, we got some. Oh yeah, nah, so those out. are the ones that I think you actually are gonna like because all three that I wore today are a little bit different. So check. Is this Brooklyn? Or, 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 so that's that's LA. That's LA sky. Uh, flip it over and look at the other joint. Hey, let's turn that flag. There Wait, it we looks go. like a turn that flag. There that's crazy. Go. How did you yeah. start this whole thing up, and when did that happen? So when I when I got signed to Brooklyn, what three years ago? Mm -hmm. You know, coming out the G League. No, you live in Brooklyn. Yeah. This is the mayor. Yeah, this is the mayor okay. on the inside. Yeah. So I signed it. I signed a personal note on there. And that was like my nickname in college. So it's a lot of personal stuff. Yeah, I got signed to uh, Brooklyn, came out of the G League. Um, no marquee brand wanted to sign me. And I used to draw shoes when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So I embarked on this whole journey. Like, hey, what would it be like if I, you know, brought a drawing to life and played in and, and did these things? And the, the misnomer is like, everybody thinks that that is the company. Now the company is a little bit different than my brand. The company is a set of tools that allows influencers to build their brand. And they needed somebody obviously to be crazy enough to try it, and I was like, "Why not?" I so you're a real influencer, then, right? I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm tied to a billion-dollar corporation, in, in which case, kind of makes me a little bit of an influencer. What's the name of that company? Uh, Project Dream. Right, okay, I that's what Project Dream. Okay, that's, okay. yeah. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> nah, that's wild. Nah, nah, nah. So, Go ahead, uh, question though. So you went, you went this route with your, with your shoes. Mm -hmm. Why not go with Nike or Adidas? Well, like I said, uh, originally they didn't want to sign me, and then okay. once I kind of was like, you know. Forget them then. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna explore this and have some fun with it and see where I can push the limits, especially in, like philanthropically. Then obviously they wanted to sign me later when you're like a skills challenge champion and all that stuff. But I was like, man, so I'm they hit you up thing. like being like, hey, yo, we what? fucked up. Like, I, I get calls from everybody now. Is that shit worth it, or is it from your personal experience now? Go your own route because obviously the brand you build is the brand that you can blow it up. You can yeah, blow it up. I would say and and. You probably know this because in in your in the music industry, yes, you did your own thing. You own the the rights to, you know, no, music your, and stuff. Exactly right? to your to your music. So with me, I would say it's a very it's a very personal decision based on the athlete. Like if they want to have their own stuff, then do it. But Nike, Adidas, and and the big brands they uh, preach family and like you're a part of this unit yeah. and da da da. So if you truly feel tied to like this concept of Nike is your family and that's gonna make you happy, do it. Now, in all actuality, is a Bandai Corporation ever really yeah, like family. a family? But do you right. think they're like taking That's advantage of players in this way? No, I mean, not not really. So in a capitalist society, like let, let's be clear here. If they know you're valued at a million dollars, they'll be like, hey, look, I'll pay you 500,000. Where do you think I'm valued at? Probably not much. <laughs> they'll be like, I'll pay you 500,000 and you can, have X, you can have that money and then we're just gonna make that million dollars so we clear what we clear and, and that's where it is. Now, obviously, if you go a different route, you have greater potential. And that's just kind of usually how don't, it works. Don't you kind of like in, in the back of your head kind of like miss out on being like going through the tunnel and having, you know, the off white and exclusive like Nike shit that like all the players get to flex? You think I can't have it? But like it's not like you're LeBron where they're sending or you the shoes early. Yeah. Like these come out like next month, you know, one for me, um, I usually wear either Vans or my own shoe. 
but it's kind of like my style. As you can see, I came in sweats, hoodie, like this um, is from a, another brand I collaborate with. Cause I have some Sandal Boy sandals coming out that collaborate with my brand and okay. we're doing some cool stuff. And on target. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, if I really want some off-white stuff, just from an economic perspective, right? Let's say those shoes were a thousand dollars. If Nike offered me 200 grand and- Is that what they offered you? No, no, no. Uh, see, I don't, I, don't throw out, I don't throw out real numbers. I'm okay. just- Ballpark, can we yeah, get just, a ballpark when, when they called you back? What did they- <coughs> it, it definitely was a lot higher than like the, you know, base level $25,000 deal that they try to just like throw at people. So a know? base level deal per se at Nike or Adidas could About, be 25 grand. It's like could 25 be. grand. And yeah. just for all the shoes like out the wazoo, right? No, no, if you're just a normal guy, you're not getting the, yeah, the, it's the a special- It's a thought deal, it's yeah, a thought deal. Exactly, thank you. you you're getting the, you're getting you're the 25, 25 <laughs> yeah, pair Air Force Ones, <laughs> Boom. LeBron 16s. There the you go, account. suck it. There you go, a, a little bit of money in the swoosh account. <laughs> Maybe 10, 10,000 in swoosh account, 25,000 in swoosh Overrated. account. Overrated. So like, bingo. But let's say I make six figures or more, right, doing my own thing. Then I can go buy a thousand dollar pair of shoes and I can have multiple, multiples of 25,000 left over still. So, it, and I get to have fun. So for me, like I said, drawing this, knowing that technically speaking, having a PBAX based phone is the pinnacle right now and no other basketball shoe has that. Like, right, and, and then we talk about the soul, correct? Yes. Right. So, right. how but, much research went into this? I don't want to cut you up, but oh, yeah. like, like, okay, so Nike, mm -hmm. of course, they have all these people working on LeBron's yeah. soul yeah. and KD's soul, like, and you want people to wear your shoe from here all the way to Asia. Yep. You know, where they really support basketball shoes. We're yep. talking basketball shoes for basketball. Exactly. Not Jordans for fashion. Exactly. We're talking basketball shoes for basketball. The research that went into this soul. What kind of research goes into that compared to like, you know, saying a, a Nike product or a Adidas product? Like, I'm so, put the same so work in there. Quite, quite a bit, actually. It's, and, and that was that was the beauty in making it. You know what I mean? Like, not only did I draw it, but then you sit down and you have that correspondence. Now, you don't necessarily have to, right? Like, you could just be like, oh, here, like, do just this. do it. Right. But I really wanted to know, really wanted to do that. And, um, you know, you've got all the different foam options. Like the plate itself is is a harder uh, P-backs. And we talk about like the plate length in the bottom of the shoe, um, the stability in the forefoot and, and foam densities and the durometers that it takes and uh, how that's, you know, I believe it's 50% lighter than Boost and offers 30% more energy return. Like it's, there's a lot of science that goes into these things. I appreciate that. And I think Nike has a runner that's only 4% P-backs. Um, and they charge a thing like two thirty for it or something like that mm -hmm. because it's considered well, four percent energy return on the thing. Is this better than a big baller brand shoe? <laughs> Come on, man. In terms of performance, in terms of being technically sound, right? There's not another shoe that you could say is technically better. Right. We ain't talking hype. We talking. We're not, we're not about hype. We're not talking about yeah. We're not talking about any of that. We're not talking about hype or whatever. Now you can say what you want to say about like fit or this or that or whatever. Boom. But in terms of technical properties. Like it's a full knit construction. So as far as performance goes, you would put this like on the level of like a LeBron 16. For sure. And and remember now LeBron's is built a little bit different to be sturdier for him, right? Mine is built more for a guard. So mine would be more compared to a Kobe or a Kyrie than a LeBron per Ooh, se. It was more a forward kind yeah, of shoe. It doesn't flex much. Like it, LeBron doesn't flex nearly as much as like a, uh, a Kobe or Kyrie or whatever. Right. I'm trying to figure out more like the infrastructure that you have access to because mm -hmm. obviously as one person you can't make a shoe yourself. So yeah. like is the, is the company you're partnered with, that's a footwear company and they help you get these things made? Like I said, the, the company I'm partnered with is, is a set of tools. So it allows, like I said, influencers to build whatever they want to build. Yeah. Mine was a shoe. Okay. You can, if you want to do a hoodie or sure. whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. Or if you want to collab with Sandal Boys, you want to collab with Coach because I'm actually Doing, I did some of that for All-Star Weekend, wore some coats. But like, how do you know that the people you have access to through this are gonna be even close to what Nike has or what Adidas has on their payroll? I went to China this summer to participate in Jeremy Lin's celebrity game and do a camp with him. Jeremy Lin, come on the show. Jeremy Lin, come on the show. Sorry, point to the wrong camera. But <laughs> I told him, I was like, hey guys, like, I wanna see the factory. Nice, so you've been, you been in the factory? Oh, like- Where like, your shoes are made. Yeah, this is this is Frank Lucas, like, <laughs> straight to the source type. Like, I, I went, I've stood there, I've talked to him. Like, I- Apple like, sauce from the Apple Orchard. Yeah, all that. But that, but like Did I said, you stitch for a pair me, yourself? Did no, you? no, no, come on now. <laughs> I, I can't do that stuff. I just, right. I, you know, I sat there, I went, went through, but for me, that was important. You know, if I'm gonna step out on a limb, if I'm gonna 
risk my body and feet and ankles credibility. and whatever, credibility, all that. Right, 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 right. You know, it's the brand. I'm a, I wanted to do that. And this, so for me, it was important. There's a sneaker person I want to ask you about that a lot of people have been talking about in the NBA this yeah. year is PJ Tucker. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about uh, him basically, you know, going to flight club every game and dropping $5,000? <laughs> like the joke was that he's mm -hmm. the only guy in the league who spends $10,000 on a pair of shoes to get like five points and four rebounds. Oh, come on, guys. Um, Jesus. But PJ, come on the show. Definitely come on the show so wealthy. Come on the show so wealthy can say that to your face. Let me put the sweat in my cup. Let me put some sweat in my cup. Jesus Christ. What's your thoughts on then someone like that who, you know, it's not disrespect to his game. No, 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 no. But if he wasn't wearing the shoes, let's all be honest, we wouldn't talk about PJ Tucker the same way that we talk about PJ Tucker, you know? What's your thought on that? Kind of like buying your own publicity through spending a lot of money on... Oh, yeah. that was a question. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, first, okay. first, let me defend Peter Tucker <laughs> say he's one of the best defenders in the league, and he played for a Western Conference championship team last year and has made quite a bit of money in the NBA. So I defend him. Don't know him personally, but respect him in that manner. Now, as far as him buying his own publicity, uh, if that's what he's passionate about, go for it. Like, if you want to wear the fear of God's on court, like, as long as you produce, personally, I don't really care. Like, if you want to wear a New Balance or my shoe or... Whatever it is, like at the end of the day, we had Gilbert Arenas. What was he playing in? Oh, uh, back he played in the day? everything. Like Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah, he yeah. played in the Dolce. Everything. So like, that's but, a great but question. The, I never thought of that. Sixty though. He he did. Did. But if you had a teammate like that who was like, you know, you thought that they were caring more about their on-court sneakers uh, okay. than, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's all about him still doing his job. You know what I mean? Like if you get paid to go out there, get five points, five rebounds, and guard KD, you know, every night, and you yep. go out there, and you get five points, five rebounds, and you Lock down KD. I couldn't care less if you were in slippers or not. Like that's me personally. Like, I really some sandal boys maybe. Wear the sandal boys. There you go. Got a real quick question for you. Yeah. Have you ever resold sneakers? Have I resold sneakers? Yeah. Back when I was a kid. Now this is an NCAA violation. Oh. Um, what are they gonna do? Give me now. Uh, I mean, when you're on travel teams and stuff, you do get like some exclusive, you know, Adidas stuff and things like that, and you know maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We just leave it in maybe. We yeah, just leave it in maybe. 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 Okay. maybe. put a little cashy pocket, but it, you know it is what it is now. All right. <laughs> uh, Spencer, every week here on the show, we punish the person who had said the most egregious thing. Last week, we check in the YouTube comments for the nominee, and we give them the worst take award and make them take off their shoes and put on something terrible. It is Mr. Matt Wealthy this week for saying goat shit. All right, speaking about goat shit. Goat shit? Who's speaking about goat shit? We're, Wait, about, no, no, to, we're about to talk some more. You, you, you oh, you, you mean greatest of all time shit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, goat shit? That sounded yeah, crazy. Goat, I don't let's know. talk about some goat Excellent stuff. transition. Excellent. Let's talk about some goat Ooh. stuff. That's horrible. Wow. Right? <laughs> no, that was actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> we'll let the commenters decide that. Yeah, I want to know what they think. That was actually pretty all right. Uh, no, that was fucking he, he, terrible. You haven't let me finish yet. No, but you started wrong. No, but you haven't even let me finish yet. I don't even know how you ended up at that point. In that episode, it was just a oh, wow. segue. We were talking about LeBron. It was not a segue, man. It was a segue. It wasn't, it wasn't a proper segue. I believe we have some. It was a hell of a segue. Steve Madden footwear over here. If you could pass that to. <laughs> I feel like Brendan probably written a segue in his life. <laughs> <laughs> segue, Brendan is a madman. He's doubled up on worst take, man. Take your shoes off. You got to put those on. Steve so, Spence, check this out. What's up? Wait, what do you think about this shoe, though? Would you rock these? Um, no. <laughs> we do a segment on here called Drip Flip and Skip. That yeah. shit is not included. Drip being looking good. Yeah. Um, if you like it, you know, boom, drip. Uh, flip being, you know, you like it, but you want to wear it, you resell it. And yeah. Skip being, you don't know, rock with it at all. Yeah. First shoe we're going to do is uh, the author LeBron Soldier 12. Um, drip Flip and Skip for you, Smith. This is based off the Arthur meme. Like the the fist, you know, like the Arthur fist. Oh Look yeah, the veins oh, yeah. on his no. fist popping. <laughs> that was it was a dope meme, considering uh, probably how scarce they would be. I'm flipping those. Flip, Brandon. Uh, this is a drip for me. I think it's cool that they took advantage of the meme moment and made a colorway out of it. This is, by the way, not a Toy Story shoe, as <laughs> com said. Uh, mm. That one's not a drip. I like the the Atmos Lebrons that okay. he was wearing over All Star Weekend. Okay. It's a flip for me. Yeah. Yeah. This is a flip for me. Moving forward, these shoes are coming back out. This is crazy. The Galaxy, yeah. the Galaxy, the Galaxy Nike Zoom rookies. Uh, drip flipper skips, Smith. It's hard because I, 
as a kid, right. I loved the Galaxy Color. Of course. Oh, so the phones were godly. Yeah. But the Zoom Rookie, though, that's kind of like... That, at the that's, time, though, the first time, I was like, ah! Right. That's like you versus the man she tells you not to worry that's about. The, that's, the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's the shoe. But for nostalgia, I'm actually going to say drip. Really? Okay. Brendan? I'm going to skip these. I would say flip, but I don't know if... <laughs> Look at his face. He's terrified What are we doing shoe? with this shoe in 2000? It won't bite you, nigga. It. That's why I said nostalgia purposes. I, like the Galaxy... Drip flip is good. I'm trying to go forward. No, that's it's a skip. If anyone tries to wear Zoom rookies in 2019... Do I have to wear them? I don't have to wear them. I can like... Like I said... <coughs> I'm going flip because we about to get paper. All right. Moving forward, we got the shoes that's on my feet. I'm flexing today. The Air Jordan 1 Coutures. Um, I'm a big fan. My boy Joe LaPuma come back on the show. We're big fans of the shoe. Okay. Uh, but no bias. Drip flipper no, skip. No, no, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I like the Adro One uh, silhouette in general. So drip. Yeah. Brendan? This is a drip for me. Cool flip on the band colorway, and it kind of reminds me of the bar they had on the original commercial. So but. you guys can't see it, but the shoe looks really fucking cheap. He wants it. He wants it. <laughs> go, go, come closer. Come no, closer. It's, like, no it's already creased. Without. Like the leather's a little funky on there. It's a little It's a little funky. Upsetting, upsetting the people at Jordan <laughs> Grand. <laughs> drip. Uh, moving forward, the social status Damn. Air Jordan Six. Shout out to James Whitten again. With Whitner or Whittier? I think you should know his name, man. Just put some respect on it. Oh, okay. No, sir. Drip skip. flip or skip? Skip. Skip. I, you know, I support everything James does, but I just this like, shoe does not look good to me. You're building him up just to like, no, like let just, him down on that I'm one. I support so, everything you so, do, so, but so, so, so skip. With all due respect. That's a skip. Skip. The only, the best part about this shoe, uh, me and Brendan were talking about it, was the video they shot from the release outside of the the sneakers. Um, like, so like a, yeah, a the skip. news. Yeah, yeah, it's a skip. It's a flip for me. The the hardest thing on this shoe is the pony hair and Nike Air on the back. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't get that. I don't like pony hair on any shoes. Well, moving forward. Do we do outfits too, Spencer? You know, we oh. wanted to, you know, get one of your best outfits here. Like, run me through this. What's going on in your mind right now? What's happening right Sweat here? Sweatpants chilling. Are you late to the on? game? Oh, Are you check early? It, check it, check it. Uh, because I'm running, it looks like I'm probably a little bit late. You were coming from a Netflix and chill like session? Like, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Stop. Is that true? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm taking the train I'm, from Dumbo. I'm going to tell you, to, I'm gonna to tell you a story about that sweatshirt. Check it. So, y'all know uh, Doofy. Uh, the, beer, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I actually uh, drew it into P's and then wrote freestyle on the bottom because it was right after the Duppy freestyle came out. Oh. And like, that's the story behind it. Getting your Virgil on. This is a drip for your drip flipper skip. Like, we got to keep it, keep that same energy. That's a skip. <laughs> I wore it, but it's a, it's, it's a skip though. Like, Brandon, I, respect, Brandon, I respect the honesty. I, I mean, I, I was running to work, but. This Brandon, what is a drip this? for me. I like the Simpsons joint, you know, the Duff beer, that's. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, people who do like a lot of the tunnel uh, fits, they're a little too performance-esque, you know, where it's like okay. you wouldn't wear like fucking high water pants and all that sort of shit, but you're actually wearing something that looks like you Yeah, you used to wear so sweatpants drip flipper to work, skip. So, so drip flipper skip, sir. You wore uh, sweat shorts on your job <laughs> interview, so. <laughs> your drip flipper skip, not sir. True. It's a drip. Uh, well, I appreciate y'all. What's it called? It, um, I'm going to go flip. I'm going to go flip. Okay. You never know. So we did things a little differently, guys, um, with Drip Flipper Skip. You know, I want to, you know, spice it up a little bit or whatever. So check this out. Hey, Dad here. I'm at the Foot Locker Puma Palace. I'm about to do a very special segment for Drip Flipper Skip. I might even add a new piece in. Stay tuned. Dad. First outfit, we got our boy Guy Fury here. Nipsey, drip flipper skip. 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 Skip that. Got it. Skip! skip. <laughs> we got our boy Fat Joe in the turbo green one. Drip flipper skip for our boy Fat Joe. He, he dripping. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> our boy Michael Jordan was in North Carolina. My nigga MJ. MJ. What are you doing right now? He got uh, the Travis Scott Jordan ones on. Jordan jeans. What Jordan shirt. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> and I love Jordan. But he ain't he ain't known for his fashion like that. But he, he did good. What, what do you think, got it? He's gonna be worse off. That part. He flipped. We gonna flip. Put him on. We gonna flip. Did somebody for me? See, look, I'm gonna be honest. This hustle right here, hustle wasn't dripping on this day. Hustle, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't dripping. <laughs> what brand is this hoodie? This is a blue bandana hoodie in the hood. Yeah, okay? that's just some cripping. Cripping. You know what I'm okay. <laughs> so this is crip. This ain't drip or skip. <laughs> this, this is crip. crip. Okay. Yeah. You, I gonna, gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, like that. We, we add here. Yeah. Crip. Yeah. Drip, skip, and flip. Hey, gentlemen, thank you so much. My brother got it. My brother.
You already know. know. Yeah, I already know. That was Trinidad enjoying his time at All-Star Weekend and getting a little extra <sighs> drip, flip, or skip for us. Spencer, before we get out of here, we want to read off some of the comments section. We always like to take a look at what people are saying on YouTube and uh, give them some space to uh, say that here on the show. So I do have the comments card here. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm spinning, man. I'm spinning. <laughs> First one we want to read off here like is from Era, or something. <laughs> saying, I low-key want to dislike this episode with respect to the last one, uh, just because of Clark Kent, but I won't due to my love for the editor for saving this episode. Shout out Matt Dion. Matt Dion. Does Clark Kent come to the Nets games and chill with you? Uh, no, he's never chilled with me, so. You got to get him a pair. Yeah, that's, gotta, that's what I got to do, so. Trailer Day says, I wonder if dad is still wearing Gucci socks. Can we get a Gucci socks check? So we, we went undercover. It's Black History Month. We Are undercover. you still rolling with Gucci in general? That's an interesting question. Am I? You know, he had the mask before. Ball yeah, well, that's, that's way before. Um, I've, I've, I got mixed feelings on that. The ski mask was made last season and nobody made any, said anything about no, it. Knew. The same exact piece. All they did as business people, because we're talking business and clothes yeah. and stuff, they just added a turtleneck to the mask. I also had red lips and, on it too. But. Well, no, the, 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 the first ski mask red had red lips. lips. Oh. It had red lips. Oh, it was the so, same exact thing. So basically, all they did yeah. was make it a turtleneck now. Because that, that meant that they didn't really have to change the mold. So yeah, it was, it's it the was same exact to, thing. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of confused. And yeah. then I have like all the people that sell me Gucci are black. Yeah. So it's like, are they supposed to quit? Mm. Yeah. Dapper Dan from Harlem has his own Gucci thing. So like, should he like stop? Yeah. So it kind of puts me in a weird place because all these black people that I support that work at Gucci. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, For sure. you know, it's a little weird. So For I don't sure. know. But right now in Black History Month or whatever, I was like, oh, I'm just giving a break. I'm yeah. giving a break because people mess up. Yeah. And I believe when you mess up, you get scolded about it, you get told about it, and you do better. Yeah. That's how I feel. This is true. That's right. Next comment here from Brad Pitt Stains. Jesus. Um, if Wealthy doesn't wear a full CP company fit with the hood and the goggles, then why do we watch the show? Wealthy, you got to give the people what they want. I did that back on us. Uh, you got a season you one. He wanted it again. Yeah. 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 Back. Yeah. Um, CP Company. Last send comment. Me, send me some jackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Says I want. I only watch on Soul Collector. Complex is for lame. Just watch it on both episodes. Put the thumbs up on both episodes. We, we don't. We don't care. Um, this has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co-host Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. <sighs> I got on great shoes today. Shout out my boy Guala, man. Those suck. <laughs> and this was. Oh, I'm Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, Go support. Buy my, buy my shoe. It's technically the best shoe out. Technically. technically. Do you have an asterisk on the bottom of the sole that says that? Oh, not nah, shit. I should really. That, that'd be kind of crazy. Be like, technically, you're technically you're the, the best, best shoe out. out. That's amazing. I'll give you an invoice after the episode. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy six for my kids. Bought a seven for my kids. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is Full Size Run. I need you to subscribe now or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks.